Hi guys! Today we are unboxing a motherboard for LGA1700 socket. The Asus Prime B660MAD4. Obviously it's a B660 chipset with DDR4 memory. Anything interesting on the back? Gigabit Ethernet. One display, two HDMI ports, Realtek 7.1 surround audio, but it's ALC897. Okay. Let's unbox. The package is quite frugal. We have some what is this? Some standoff S for you single sided M.2 SSDs. Okay. Two M.2 bolts and screws. Backplate. User guide with useless CD. And Two SATA cables and of course the motherboard. This is the motherboard. And it obviously is on the cheap side. We have 5 plus 3 VRM or 6 plus 2 with only this part. Presumably the coarse part has a radiator. It's not a bad one, not the greatest. Unfortunately, the this part has no cooling. You may be able to stick some. Uh, GPU VRAM cooling if you happen to have some. On the plus side we have three full size PCI Express ports but only the top one is full speed by 16. It supports up to Gen 4, no Gen 5 on this motherboard. So Gen 4, these two are uh, Gen 3 with the first one being by one and this is by four so you can choose to stack additional uh, cards but don't expect great performance if you use these two the chipset is cooled by a tiny radiator and we have two sets of two SATA ports so four SATA ports uh, M.2 port and another M.2 port and this one is PCI Express by uh, Gen 4x4 with a heat spreader and this one is also by 4 but it doesn't have a heat spreader also we have front USB 3 USB Type-C from the front, additional USB 2 sets for front uh, USB. We have a COM port, interestingly. Audio, oh, another USB 3 for the front, so two sets USB 3 uh, for better routing. And we have, of course, RGB addressable do we have no addressable yep this one here and another addressable RGB as for the cooling one and two two fan headers for the uh, case and two for the CPU 
you can use probably one of those two for the case fans only a single 8 pin for the processor it's supposed to support the Core i9-12900K but frankly with this VRM I'm not so sure how well it will perform it may be I say maybe because I haven't checked it be limited to 125 watts on this motherboard we need to check it after on the back side we have two HDMI's and display port interesting you can add a lot of monitors three monitors to this one we have uh, an old PS2 connector and these two sets of two are only USB 2 which on a current level motherboard is a bit a bit not so good and these two are USB 3.2 Gen 2 or 10 gigabits per second speed and no type C on this board gigabit LAN and the audio again it's not the latest model from the Realtek, not even close, but it should do. So, a rather cheap motherboard from the B660 series. It has four slots for DDR4. And that's all guys. Bye!